Hi everybody, uh, my name is Leo and this is Kaleo and today we're, we're here to show you how to play a game called Race to 100. It's a math game, it's intended to help you have a little more fun while you're playing, while you're learning math. Okay, so Kaleo and I are going to play it, but before we get started, uh, you'll need a few materials. You will need two crayons for each player, two pe pencils, and a dice, and two sheets. So they look like this, and you can print them, or you can get them, and you can ask your teacher if she has them. Or you'll be able to download them from our own website. So. And here's and here's a and here's a shape. If if you do have a pencil sharpener at home, it doesn't matter any kind. Then you should use it just in case your pencil breaks. Just keep it by you at any times. That's a good idea. So there you have it. Okay, so you'll have your pencil sharpened. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to determine who goes first. Now, we can either just tell each other, it doesn't matter who goes first, or we can do is roll the dice, and whoever rolls the higher number gets to go first. Which way would you like to do it? Um, I want you to go first. Okay, he wants me to go first, so I'm going to go first. So here we go. Here's the first roll, and I rolled a four. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write the number four in the part where it says number sentences. So number sentences, I'm going to write the number four, and then I'm going to color four of these little squares. So, four, and then I'm going to color one, two, three, and four. And one important thing here, for this entire column, I'm going to use this color. When I switch over to the next column, I'm going to use the other color that I have. Okay? So, when we get to that, I'll show you. But there's my four, and there is the four. Okay, now it's Kaleo's turn, so let's see how he does. There's a tip. Um, you can go, you can go through rows. Oops. Go get, get it. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to drop that, but anyway. You can go through rows, or you can go through columns. Right, but in this case, we're going to go through columns. So, so, go ahead and roll. I roll it. I got two. You rolled a two. Keep a little closer here. So he's going to color his two. Spaces. Okay. One and two. And then he's going to write his number two on the bottom. And then show him your paper so they can see. There's his two, and there's his start of a sentence, his number sentence. Okay. Daddy's turn. So now it's focuses on me. I got a six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that four that I already had. I'm going to do a plus six and equals six, four plus six, and it's equal to ten. So I already have four. I'm going to color six more. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now the reason we're switching over colors every time we finish the column is so that it becomes easier later on to count by tens. So we have, you can tell the difference between each one by the different colors that it'll have. So 4 plus 6 equals 10. And here's the next thing to start setting up for the next move. We're going to take the 10 that we got and we're going to put it down here, like this. So 10. There it is. Okay? And that's set up for our next move. Okay, Kaleo, your turn. I get a three. Okay. So he's going to mm -hmm. color his three. And he's also going to be adding his three to his number sentence. There it is. There's his three. And then two plus three equals two. Five. Okay. There you go. So show them your paper so they can see your coloring. And your 2 plus 3 equals, wait a minute, so you can see it. 2 plus 3 equals 5. And now he's going to write his 5 down here so he's ready for his next move. So go ahead and write your 5 down there. And meanwhile, I'll roll my next number. So, I got a 3. Now remember, since I've already got my first 10s, I'm going to start with the next color. I'm going to use the next color. Go one, two, and three. So I'm going to do ten plus three equals thirteen. And I'm going to take that thirteen and put it on the next line. 
So there we have it. You have okay. 10 that I had from before plus 3 equals 13. And then I bring it down so that we can be ready for the next shot. And as you can see my colors, 10 plus 3, 13. Okay, Kaleo, your turn. He's got a 5. So he's going to color his 5. Now, as you play this game, you'll start, you can start being able to tell with much more ease how many tens you have by just looking at each of the columns. And that's part of the part of the learning process. You're able to start to count by tens with ease and be able to see them with ease. So Kaleo now, little spaces. he's got his coloring, he's very, very thorough. And he's gonna put a five. Now he knows that five plus five equals two. There you go, and then he's going to take his 10 and put it down in the next box. Alright, show me your paper. There it is. So, we're going to continue this game, but what we're going to do is we'll continue it, we'll finish it, and then we'll show you the end result. Okay? So. Finished it. So, I am at 86, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 86. And Khalil is at, what are you at? 90. Let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And that's why we use two different colors. So it makes it easy. So we're going to finish off the game together. And then, don't worry if you couldn't see the numbers, because what I'm going to do at the end is take a picture of this and show you in detail some of those numbers that we were talking about. Okay, so, the, oh, by the way, if you run out of space in the front, you can always use the back. Where are you having to use the back? when you're rolling. So it's Kaleos, it's my turn, because we're even here, and now it's my turn, 86. So I write my 86, and I rolled a 5, which gives me 91. And I'm going to color my 91 here. Okay, Kaleo, go ahead. He's got 90. Now he's going to roll again. Let's see who gets to 100 first. Okay, go ahead. Now if we're way over there, which we said we were going to try to keep it close here, and we're going to use only one die. So let's do that one again. I got six. Let's do it again, because yours are on dice. So now we got And roll it right here, just right here. Two. Mm. So you're going to write 90 plus two. So right now it's at 91 to 92. So he's winning. Let's see if he wins. My turn. I'm going to roll a 6, so 91 plus 6 puts me a 97. Let's see what he's got. Somehow I rolled a 6 too. You rolled a 6. Okay. So it's going to come down to the last roll here. It's pretty exciting. So he's at 98 and I'm at 97. And he's going to write his numbers down on the back, make sure he has them. So 92 plus 6. And my final roll, let's see how I do. And just to be fair, he'll get a last roll, and whoever gets probably with a higher number won't get it. So, 5. I got a 5. So we need to get here to, since I've went over, I got a 102, so it's 95, 97 plus 5 equals 102. Okay, go ahead, Kaleo. And let's see how Kaleo does here. Go ahead, Kaleo. He's got two. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. That's right, he was supposed to color it in orange. He forgot. That's okay. So we got 100. He got exactly 100. He needs to write the 98 plus 2, which gives him 100. And I've got 97 plus 5. Oops, I got 102. Now you can do the rules on this part of it however you want. Because it's it's about really having fun as you're doing your math. Equals 100. Perfect. So you can either do it who gets exactly 100, or you can go to who gets... A slightly bigger number than 100 if you want to determine the winner. But the important part is that we are done and we had fun doing it. So 
again, this is the race to 100, and just once you've scored all your points, you write them all down as you go. You write your number sentences. In other, in other words, another word for number sentences would be equations. And then we keep playing until you get to 100. If, so if you have, you'd like to, you can um, you can decorate on the outside when you're done. There you go. So you can decorate and make it pretty. So thank you for watching. Say thank you to the audience who's listening. Hey, hello and bye. <laughs> thank you for watching.